What's going on guys, Bradley here, back again, and today I'm going to be doing a what's on my Android video, you know, kind of showing, you know, my favorite apps that I use on the day-to-day -day basis and what apps make my life a lot easier. I see a lot of people doing these kind of videos and I really enjoy watching them, so I figured, you know, why not do one. If you guys want to see one on iOS instead of Android, leave a comment down below or any other video suggestions, but without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so this is my home screen layout. Basically have the Google standard clock widget. I really don't use it, I just like the simplicity of it. And when I click on it, I can go into the clock app. So that's pretty easy to use. And if you guys are interested in my wallpaper, then I'm actually using backdrops. I really like this wallpaper. It's probably my favorite wallpaper I've come across and the really big selling point for this wallpaper is that all of these wallpapers in the explore tab are made by the developers all the wallpapers are exclusive to backdrop so you won't find them on the internet or anything like that and they do update new wallpapers daily so I really suggest that app and all the apps I will be linked in the description below as also you can follow me on Twitter if you guys want to Hold on, if you guys want to follow me, if you guys want to interact with me, that's the easiest way. If you guys want to see behind the scenes of my tech videos, then you can follow me on Snapchat. All of that will be in the link below. But like I said, on Twitter, if you follow me and you tweet at me, it's the best way to interact with me. We can talk about tech or just anything you want, want to talk about. I'm there and I really like to interact with my audience. So as you can see, I'm using obviously Phoenix for Twitter. A lot of people, that's like their favorite app. It's definitely my favorite for Twitter. I also have used you know, the stock Twitter app, but this one is material design and it's just a lot better. So the next app I wanna talk about is Inbox by Google. Now, I just kinda of deleted all my app, all, not my apps, all my emails but what I really like about this email is it's a lot different than other emails. A lot of other emails, you just get a timeline of all your emails as to where this one, I can actually click on in the, in the done section and it'll show you that all my emails are in different folders. There is a promotional updates, you know, social, all that kind of stuff and purchases. They're all in different folders and you can actually click in them and see all of those. And then you can also, you know, get rid of them all at once. And it's just very easy, it's simplistic and it's not a cluttered email app. So the next app I wanna talk about that I really like to use is Google Play Newsstand. This app is very, very good for getting your news and you can customize these tabs up here of which ones you wanna see and you just get all of the news, you know, the latest news, and you also get, you know, suggested sources of where you can read more news from, and you just get it all in this big picture. It's just great for getting the news, easy, fast, and it's readable. So this next app I wanna talk about is this Google Weather app right here. You guys have probably never seen this before, and I came across it like very weirdly. I never knew that this app existed. Uh, if you guys click on it, you can see it's like Google weather and you can see how great it looks. You know, it has this background with like the frogs and stuff and that changes depending on the weather for you guys' location. It's got the wind, the air quality, you know, sunrise and sunset. You get a lot of information. You can also swipe this over and you have a tomorrow tab and then you have your 10 day forecast. Now this, honestly, I think should be a Google stock, stock weather app. Like this app is very well designed, it's very good, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get it and it's very easy and it's free. So you go over here to your Google Now settings or your Google Now page and you see that the weather, you got your weather widget, you just tap on that, brings up weather and this part right here looks exactly like the app we just looked at. Then you click on that and it brings it up. And if you guys want to add it to your home screen, you just go over to this tab right here and boom, add it to your home screen. But I don't need another one. But that's how you guys do it. It's very easy and I really like this app. Other, I would suggest this app, you know, over paid weather apps. I really haven't found uh, really good weather apps. I do know that there is a weather timeline app. You know, this app is decent, but it really, 
takes a long time to load. Like you see, I have like really good, you know, internet going on, but it's still, it takes a while to load as to where this one is just boom, it's quick, and you can see all the information very fast, and that's why I really like it. So going over here to my next page, I have what's called the today widget which is right down here and there's an agenda widget and there's a month widget and I have the agenda right now and what I really like about this is you can add stuff really easily with your Google Calendar you just click on that and your Google Calendar will come up to add events and what I also really like is that if you have something going on that this day it will be highlighted in white and I really like how it's you know it has that transparency to it to where you can still see your wallpaper. So I also use Clash Royale. I highly suggest that game. It's so addicting. I play it so much during the day. And like I said, you know, I have Snapchat, Amazon just for shopping. Um, I have Evernote, but I really usually only use Google Keep. I just like how it's kind of has posted notes on this thing where it looks like and you click on them. And these are my notes for the WWDC the other day. If you guys want to see a video about that, then hit that thumbs up down below. And that's pretty much it guys. You guys notice that I really only use like stock apps. I don't use a lot of different complicated apps and that's just because Google has a very good amount of stock apps that look good and are materialistic design. Um, I use the stock messenger, Chrome, and Spotify for music and I also use SoundCloud. So like I said guys, if you want to see a video like this, for iOS, leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.